Nation walk one with the on the Tuesday. As a matter of fact, let us address the elephant in the room. The not so big elephant in the room. After the hurricane pass, I don't see electricity for one, two, three, four, five, six, basically seven days. And a lot of places still don't have electricity as yet. Before we start cuss blood clot and tell people about their mother, let me first say thank you on behalf of every Jamaican to all of the frontline workers to all of the first responders, to all of the JPS laborers who in some circumstances are risking their life to restore some sense of order to the country. Yeah, but now that the thanks is out of the way, I want to say a special suck your mother to the Jamaican government and the management team at the Jamaica Pussy World Service. Were it not for a government mandated monopoly on our energy and public service providers, we wouldn't be in this fucking mess. No, we would not be in this circumstance, people. If there was competition for providing energy and other services, your fuck for no light would have come back in next day. But because it is only them, they are allowed to drag their feet and provide mediocre service at best. But still, JPS of the other city, if you want to come send people some estimated $50,000 bill per month, Jaja, talking about $50,000. According to Yard Hype, $50,000 to get into Popcorn's birthday party in Portland. The article states, dance and artist Popcorn, born Andre Sutherland, set to host his birthday party on July the 19th. But the exclusive event's entry fee has taken social media users by surprise. Maybe the people who are priced to build them down a JPS, they can easily attend that event. Use one of the build them with them send me to cover that. Still I speak on topics related to the hurricane though. Hazan's donate to hurricane stricken St. Elizabeth residents. The Hazan family is providing much needed relief to the people of St. Elizabeth whose lives and the livelihood were ravaged during the passage of Hurricane Braille. Social media users reacting to that, some are stating that it is because of Sam. Sam is the one who caused this. See how Sashi Lover asks is it because of what happened the other day. For those who don't know, this person who goes by the name Sam Hazan, after the hurricane passed, she took to social media where she shared this video. Us coming back to Jamaica after abandoning it for the hurricane, then acting like it didn't do anything to the country. She got quite a backlash for that, which led her to make a public apology. Dear people of Jamaica, my name is Samantha Zan, I'm 16 years old, and I recently uploaded a TikTok that was so insensitive, hurtful, and disrespectful. I truly am sorry from the bottom of my heart, and I want to apologize for my actions and words and the pain that they have caused. I live in Florida, and I was just in Jamaica for summer. Although in the video she stated that she's not associated with the Azans, social media users still say she's an Azan. I also want to make it clear that my family is not affiliated with any of the Azan businesses in Jamaica or anywhere else. I realized that the video was so thoughtless, not knowing the consequences or impacts that my words and actions can cause. For that, I am so sorry. This situation has really taught me an important lesson about the power of words and the importance of respect. I truly am committed to learn from this mistake and I will educate myself and make sure it never happens again. I really hope you guys can forgive me and I want you to know that I truly am sorry and I meant every single thing I said in this video. Mm, speaking about apologies. Nara up for Nightly Fix and Dance and Artist Spice. Well, Spice seems as if she fixed things with Nara of Nightly Fix. Why do I tend to use the word seem when it is basically not needed? Spice apologized to Nara. Check out the video. So I just want to ask for me personally and for the fans, like, what happened? Because yeah. I thought that you probably hate Nara for life. Oh, yeah, the Fix Farino. for <laughs> life. So really and truly, what happened? Um... I think for me, and speaking on my heart, my part, I feel like um, your platform is extremely popular in Jamaica, and so every week people would send me stuff. But I've never had the privilege of getting something from Nara that was good. It was always like, why is this man hate? Why am he hating me? Mm. Well, you think he's come back to this? <laughs> it was it always something. It and so week by week, as I get things it's always negative and i'm like well goddamn wow. you know for me i feel like 
it's already difficult to be in this ever growing business. And so when you have a platform like yours, which is off its magnitude, once you go on YouTube and type my name, you also have to understand that's the representation. That's what people is getting from my own country. So I was feeling some kind of way, but what took it over the edge for me was when somebody came on your platform and them say, Spice and the Jamaican be and say, and him jump up. What? What? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, I thought it was somebody else. Oh, okay, somebody. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I've had enough of this. But um, I feel like how I should start out, I want to start out with an apology. Um, At the time when it happened, I was so arrogant to the situation where I felt like everybody was coming down on me, including Nara as one of them. But now when I look back at the bigger picture, I feel like um, a person of my caliber, I should not try to... Huh, I should find ways how to... Because, you see, I get arrogant easily because of... Yeah. But it should not be a situation where it should uh, lead me to kind of um, insult or disrespect you like that. So I personally want to apologize for that. I feel like I should... I, it could, we, we could have sought it out another way. Even during the time, like the aftermath during that, I say, you know, people tell me about mother all the time. Even when I play football and I'm a scheme, it's like, it's nothing. But and my mother I really did want you apologize to at the time because well, it's like she's not used to yeah. no to apologize to your mother because she yeah. also didn't didn't deserve that yeah. mommy big up yourself <laughs> <Yeah, mommy. laughs> yeah. apologize to you i know this that, that was very so public much, i know that that was very public and um to just throw you into something that was affecting me and hurting me you had nothing to do with it so i apologize to you mommy spice love you like that big up your nice clean self yeah mommy Chirabas, for some reason had to remind the public why Spice had to apologize to Naro. Travis, share this. You're one of the most talked about artists in the land, but we're not going to talk about you anymore. So people, when you hear, when Spice does good, and we don't talk about it. Talk about the... We do, because we talk about the good about black people. But, but about you miss that because you have people feeding you. Oh, ning, 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 ning. We talk about the good about black people and anyway, how the strategy is good. The conversation now has expired. So you can do me a favor, suck your mother. All right. So, mom. Mama, I hope you're seeing this. So I hope, I hope whenever Spice is sick and she comes to KPH, whenever we talk about who fuck Spice, we shot people. No, we shot people. Let us calm things down with somewhere that seems very relaxing, fitting for this summer heat. Alright, back to the news. Dance and artist Sika Rhyme. We know that the entertainer was incarcerated overseas. The entertainer recently released a song titled Corrupt. There is also a music video for the song. Check it out. One VP. Yo, Uno can see me fuck up. Suck Uno mother Uno corrupt. Feelings bad belly you are carry. We have some blood clash and fear stomach. In other song, Sika Rhyme also took a jams art selector for the hype. Yo, if over the past few days, Miss Kitty and uh, some of her followers, they have been at it on social media. Miss Kitty and her fans, they go at it over Miss Kitty's husband, Miss Kitty's appearance. Miss Kitty setting her standards and living by those standards, waiting until marriage before getting pregnant. Vacuous, dense, all... Show. I gotta say, oh, me put on mothers. Put on mothers how? First of all, I... Had, I've always said, I don't want to get pregnant out of wedlock. Okay, I'm not getting pregnant. I, I'm not. Right? I'm not have a baby out of wedlock. I'm not have no baby out of wedlock. I'm not have it. I'm not have the child for no man who's not ready. Because I'm about family. I'm born in a family. I'm born in a wedlock. I'm born with family. Mother, father, my sister. So I grow. So I know no other way. But me notice, anytime, you, you know, as a woman, you have standards for yourself, are you first them one bash? But then again, when you want to live careless, are you, it's okay. Everybody's fine that you live in careless as a woman, right? When you don't have no standard, you're everybody's best friend. Yeah, you're the pick of the litter. Yeah. But as soon as you have like a standard, oh, you go on too much. I want to some girl. I want to you. I want to you. Because what happened to your mother not happened to me? Your mother breathed five times for eight different man. That won't be my lot in life. Sorry. Burp. Yeah. 
So I, I don't I don't have a problem with mothers. If you can afford your children, by uh, hello, you're free for up. As stated before, some are defend Miss Kitty, some are bash Miss Kitty, for example. This person stated, okay, dash rebellion until married. Got it? Why she not include the part where she did a sleep with the lady husband, him divorce him wife and married her because she got pregnant? Continuously dragging this conversation is annoying. You get pregnant out of wedlock, then married. Go take care of that baby. Miss, what are you doing do in a moment? Us! Miss, say, what are you doing do in a moment, horse, Renny? What are you doing in a moment, horse? Huh? Renny, what are you doing in a moment, horse? Fry a woman down a yard. What are you doing? What are they do in a moment, horse, my Jerry? What are they do in a jay horse, miss? Where so you determine? You determine, miss. She said, hey, him determine. Look, she in a moment, horse. She well determine. Jay, come on, come on, come on, triangle lights. And all these blood clad things. What's here? Blood clot, young light, and all these things. Come out, young light, and all these blood clot things in a moment. Oh, eh? Where did Oprah will? Tell Jerry, come tell me, says, hey, I want she to do ya. Where are they do ya? You not talk. You not talk. You want something make you talk. What are they do in a moment, us? Eh? What are they in a moment, us? See, you determine. Are you? You determine too. Because you are now in your house. So, two of uno. Determine. And it was never in a no business. But it was no. Determine. What should they do here? Till Kyung Light, Red Wine, Rose, Posey, Blood Clot, in here. What a one. Jay, what a blood clot one. I'm going to mash up blood clot right there. Yes, tonight. I'm in a, in a no blood clot. Lloyd Leng from Over Reggaeology. He spoke on the importance of due diligence in the business of music. Well, Leng basically I put in a place who used this material without his permission. Story time. You see, in business, especially music business, due diligence is necessary. Now, a few nights ago, I was woken up by my copy, copyright and trademark company that a gentleman out of Canada by the name of Wizology had breached my reggaeology trademark. Now, everybody knows, say, leng a reggaeology, the kind of term. Me write three book round it. That is why the term is what it is. But this little gentleman sits in Canada, Wizology, and decides that he is going to drop an entire volume of reggae music called Reggaeology Volume 1 on VPAL with VP. Now, me not reach to VP yet. But what I'm saying to this little young gentleman is that all you had to do was go onto the internet, Google Regiology, and we would not be in the situation we are now. Now, the fact that I call you in Canada after you send out all sorts of words and tricks that I can't do you nothing and I call you on a Canadian phone in Canada and you almost shit your rocks in your car and kept on asking me who you got your number from. But you see the person... That you are in Canada accusing that gave you the number. They didn't give you the number. They just worked off of ethics and morals. They said, Lloyd, I don't want to get involved. But guess what? I have a very, very long arm. Very, very deep reach. And it took me nothing but two phone calls to get you in your own car. And you were pissing yourself about it. No. Hear me very well. Don't rove around Canada and blame Black Orchid for the things that you did, Mr. Wizology. Because all you did was need, all you had to do was Google and you would realize that Reggaeology is an international trademark. 
protected by the laws on the commonwealth under which Canada is a part of. You forgot that. But let me tell you something and take a lesson from this. You see people who actually pay attention to due diligence and who do business the right way is not somebody to be played with. So don't mess with my junk. It's Leng. I'm out. Nation, let us just close things off with a recent performance from dance and artist Shensia and Masika.